So it looks like the United, total United States deaths is at 47,000 by tomorrow, maybe? Wow, what a uh, what an interesting time we live in. And Spain is at 21,000. Italy at 25,000. France at 21,000. Germany at 5. The UK at 18. Turkey at 2,000. Iran still at 5,000. China, of course, lying at 4,600. Russia, only 513. Hmm, don't believe that. Brazil at 3,000 by tomorrow, most likely. Canada is at 2,000. Uh, let's see. Ecuador, where I'm at, 537. And in other news, San Francisco is closing these streets to help with social distancing. Again, I'm not seeing how closing streets will actually do anything. Like I, like I said before, a lot of these these policies and procedures and whatever you want to call them, they're just window dressing. They're not. They don't do anything. It, it, basically, it's like, um, well, we're doing something, so we're closing the streets off. Okay, what what, what is that going to do? Well, nothing. Figures. Starting this week, San Francisco is introducing a program that will close some streets to through traffic so pedestrians and cyclists can more safely social distance. Again, social distancing is fine. If you're wearing a mask, that's good too. So, I, I, don't, I don't... Who came up with this? I don't know. Slow Streets Initiative. Great. Similar to the one already rolled out in Oakland will eventually close a dozen streets around the city through traffic, although some cars will still be allowed through, such as residents or emergency vehicles. The goal is to create safe streets for pedestrians to walk in when sidewalks do not allow for six feet of distance between individuals. The rollout won't be immediate. According to SMIFTA, SMIFTA, <laughs> two or three corridors per week will be converted to slow streets model. Signs and traffic cones will be put up, and SFMTA workers will be monitoring the streets for safety issues. Great. That's all we need. People on the street to monitor the situation. Yeah, that doesn't sound so bad, does it? Hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not clear which streets will be piloted first with the program, but uh, mm-hmm. List the number of streets it may test in the coming weeks. And there's your streets. The most important thing people can do is remain home. But when you must go out, this will help allow for physical distancing, San Francisco Mayor London Breed tweeted Tuesday morning. Although pedestrians will be allowed in the street, they do not have the right of way over vehicles. The first phase of corridors was selected to mimic some of Mooney's most popular routes. What the hell is Mooney? Allowing people to safely travel to essential services. The streets were chosen to supplement reduced or suspended muni routes while providing bicycle and pedestrian access to essential services. Many of these streets run parallel to other major streets and transit routes. The slow streets are intended to provide a network of streets that prioritize walking and biking for essential trips. Ew, God. I don't see how this is going to help. When you see right here, the streets they want to block or slow down, I, I don't... I, I just don't get it. Whatever. And from the Daily Star, who would have thunk this? New coronavirus outbreak in northern China puts city of 11 million on lockdown. A student who had tested negative for coronavirus had gone through a 14-day quarantine, returned to the city, or Harbin, where the deadly bug was contracted by 70 people. Hmm. Authorities have placed the city on lockdown as the country battles to prevent a second wave of the potentially deadly coronavirus. I don't think they're still in the first wave. A 22-year-old student uh, surnamed Han had returned from China. Oh, my God. From New York. God dang. She had gone through 14 and quarantine. She was a silent carrier. Unaware, she went on to infect her neighbors who then hosted a gathering. Uh-huh. A guest at the gathering was later taken to the hospital with a stroke, which had then led to the infection breaking out at the two hospitals. Oh, my God. Coronavirus has gone 
on to infect 70 people, including patients in the Inner Mongolia and Liaoning province. Harbin has reported 52 active confirmed cases and 23 asymptomatic infections. The city has implemented a strict lockdown, with gates to all communities and villages remain guarded. Yeah, I bet there, there is no dissent there, is there? Citizens have been asking to wear face masks when stepping out of villages, as well as other temperatures checked. Public events have been canceled. Gatherings have been banned. On April 8th, dozens of residents drove up to the border of Wuhan as the Chinese authorities ended the city's 76-day coronavirus lockdown. So what can we learn from all of this? Well, window dressing is what the United States is good at, especially San Francisco. And China is always lying and, and portraying, we want to stop a second wave. Second wave? Hey, China, stop lying. Oh, by the way, Missouri has uh, started to sue uh, China in court. <laughs> good luck. You won't see a damn dime. But uh, as always, here we go for day 39. I stay frosty as always. See you tomorrow.